Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So in this video, I will be discussing about Gayatri Chakravarti Spivak and her post-colonial theory. So let's start. So Gayatri Chakravarti Spivak was born in Calcutta, West Bengal on 24th February 1942. To solidly metropolitan middle class family, she belonged to the first generation of Indian intellectuals after independence. She did her undergraduate work in English at the University of Calcutta in 1959. Graduating with the first class honors, she borrowed money to go to United States in the early 1960s to do graduate work at Cornell University. She received her MA in English from Cornell University and taught at the University of Ova while working on her PhD. Her dissertation was on William Butler Yeats, who was an Irish poet. Her subsequent work consists in post-structuralist literary criticism, deconstructive reading of Marxism, feminism, and post-colonialism. In 1967, on her regular attempts of self-improvement, Spivak purchased a book by an author unknown to her, entitled as Da Li Grammatologia. She decided to translate the book by an unknown author and wrote a long translator's preface. This publication was immediately a success and the translator's preface began to be used around the world as an introduction to the philosophy of deconstruction launched by the author Jacques Derrida, whom Spivak met in 1971. So she wrote an essay that is entitled as Can the Subaltern Speak? So, in this essay, she relates to the manner in which Western cultures investigate other culture. Uh, Can the Subhalan Speak is its first part, which presents the ethical problems of investigating a different cultures based on universal concept and framework. Although the term Subhalan conventionally devotes, denotes an inferior military rank, but in the article, she tries to overthrow the binary opposition between subject and object, self and other, occident and orient, center and marginalization or marginal, and the majority and minority. She introduces the question of gender and sexual differences in the work. Subaltern, according to Spivak, is those who belong to the third world countries. It is impossible for them to speak up as they are divided by gender, class, caste, region, religion, and other narratives. These divisions do not allow them to stand up in unity. So, in this essay, she basically discusses about some of the ideas. The first one is truth construction. So, Spivak uses deconstruction to examine how truth is constructed. She takes the example of Sati. Sati was a practice among the Hindus in which a woman was burned alive with the pyre of her death husband. When the Britishers came to India, they outlawed this practice. Though it saved a number of lives of women, it also helped them help the Britishers to secure their rule in India. Again, the outline of this practice had a complete absence of Indian women's voice. According to British, white men saved brown women from brown men. This statement creates a truth that Indians are barbarians and British on the other hand are civilized and hence their rule were justifies over the Indians. Human conscience is constructed randomly. We do not construct our identities. We have them written for us. So this is the first idea in her essay. The second one is knowledge is not innocent. So Spivak criticizes in this essay a focal point of views for commenting epistemic violence that is projecting Eurocentric knowledge onto the third world countries. She is of the view that Western academic thinking is produced in order to support their economic interest. Thus the knowledge is like any other commodity that is exported from Europe to the third world countries. Knowledge is never innocent. It expresses the interest of its producer. This westernized knowledge tends to construct 
our identities for the third world people europe become the ideal so this is the third uh, sorry the second uh, second idea in this essay that knowledge is not innocent the third idea is the criticism on essentialist ideology so spivak uses marxist ideology to criticize the leftist according to her the leftist essentialized the subaltern that is they consider the third world people to be same as one identity and same issues it has three negative impacts on subaltern the first impact is it produces an opportunity to make attempt from outside to reform subalterns that is it paves ways for colonialism the second impact is it provides a logocentric assumption of cultural unity among heterogeneous people the third impact is the subalterns become dependent on the western intellectuals to speak for their conditions rather than allowing them to speak for themselves so this is the third idea in her essay can the subaltern speak the fourth one is that so the society of bubaneswari bubaneswari was basically a woman in the end spivak basically brings to light the society of an ordinary woman to explain how outside affect the subaltern according to her she ended her life or she committed suicide because she did not want to participate in an association that she was assigned to commit however after her death her suicide was misinterpreted and her story was written by her family in a different way they consider her suicide as an outcome of a failed love affair rather than a protest thus Spivak concludes that it is impossible to reclaim and rewrite history in the western framework as they construct truth for us and her family uh, and the woman family constructed for her and hence subaltern cannot speak so in this video we discuss about gayatri chakravarti spivak and her essay can the subaltern speak with four major ideas in that essay so that's all from my side if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment section please like subscribe and share my channel thank you for watching